When people find out that my husband and I live in an off-grid yurt in the mountains of Montana year-round, there's always one thing that they ask. Do you actually stay warm in that thing? Quick answer, absolutely. But there's a few things you should know, so I'll take you around our yurt and show you how. We live in a 30 foot shelter designs yurt. And we opted for a couple extras like glass windows, French doors. We also opted for the eco upgrade, which replaces all of the standard lumber with beautiful hand peeled lodgepole pines locally sourced from none other than Montana. But most importantly, we got the wind and snow kit with Arctic insulation. In addition to all that insulation in the ceiling and walls, we also insulated our floor. Beneath me is four inches of insulation. If you live in a cold climate, you have to insulate your floor. Now, you can build your own circular floor if you want to. You don't. Or, like we did, you can order one from Shelter Designs. It's called a Sips Floor, comes together in pieces, click them together like a puzzle, and you're done. different ways to keep your yurt warm. You can do pellet stove, propane, radiant heat flooring. We live off grid, so we opted for a good old fashioned wood stove. Now we opted for the Mac Daddy of wood stoves. This is the Blaze King Scirocco 30. This thing burns for like 30 hours at a time and could heat well over double our square footage, but with the high vaulted ceilings of the yurt, this has worked out perfectly. And I'm actually getting really overheated sitting here, so I'm gonna go ahead and move. Now one thing that I want to stress. Chris and I both have full-time jobs and really busy work schedules. And when we're not working, we're usually trying to have fun outside. So we don't have time to sit around and monitor the stove and the temperature of the yurt. So here's a few things that we do to keep our yurt cozy. So a typical winter day, we'll wake up, undampen the stove, eat some breakfast, get ready for the day, load the stove before we head down the trail, and then get it to the temperature that we want to hold all day. Then after work, come home, undampen the stove, let everything kind of rage for half an hour or so, reload it before we go to bed, dampen it again, just that simple. Just to recap, we only load the stove a couple times a day, and it stays a toasty 65 to 75 degrees in here. Just remember you have to get the Arctic insulation, and you have to insulate your floor, and do not skimp on the wood stove. And having a few dogs around doesn't hurt either. Cheers! <laughs>